Hello and welcome to Lorfit and Gaming Plays Far Cry New Dawn. I'm your host Lorfit and in today's Trophy Slash Achievement Guide we're doing a graceful return. Not only we're going for a Trophy Slash Achievement, we're also going for a Grace, our third specialist. And Grace is responsible for uh, making for the future saw launchers. You'll get a free uh, level 2 one at the end of the quest. Well, some people will skip Wikibenia and Celine to get Grace because of the Saw Launcher. Yes, it's one of the most powerful weapons in the game. And when you recruit her, you have access to building future Saw Launchers. For instance, the uh, Devastating Level 3 and most likely later on the Total Evil uh, Level 4 version, the legendary one. Still, you just keep on going this way. And when I get close by, I'll uh, reveal where it is on the map so everybody will uh, benefit from uh, finding it. Still, you want to do these specialists as soon as possible, even if they are far away. That's what you want to do. So here's the map. It's right here, Grace Armstrong. It is, um, I think it's northeast of the uh, Chop Chop area, or where the town used to be. So this is where it is on the map, right there. Now we're going to go over there and uh, start the uh, uh, quest with Grace so we could get our saw launcher and her as a specialist, so here we, uh, go. Nice work. Maybe we can help each other. You're that outsider, huh? Here the highwaymen are none too happy with you. Good. About time you young guns stepped up to the plate. Name's Grace. And if I wasn't blind as fuck, I'd be fighting right beside you. I might have lost a step or two, but I'm still putting my hands to good use. Once I realized I couldn't aim and shoot like I used to, I built a gun where none of that would matter. It's inspired by something you cooked up, actually. Only I made a few modifications. If I wasn't so modest, I'd say it was the best gun in Hope County. Only problem is the highwaymen stole it from me and took it to the old train yard. That's where they hoard all the goods they've been stealing from the people here. It won't be easy, but trust me, the risk is worth the reward. Go get the gun, steal back the supplies they took, and mow down any pinheads who get in your way. Now that we got our quest buzzkill, what we're going to do is, is uh, start it up. Yeah, we uh, marked it on the map. Now we had to head, head to the old train yard. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to just hurry this up. Here we go. Now, speaking of which, while I was on the way there, why am I having uh, different weapons? Well, here's the deal. I was working on my uh, perks as, at the time of this recording. Yeah, I need to do something else. So I had like a whole bunch of different weapons from rocket launchers, shotguns, and etc. It just happened to the fact the uh, rocket launcher got the uh, free three perk points, which is perfect. So that's what I'm doing, and now I'm on my way to the uh, train yard. It's this way. Yeah, I'm rushing through this part. It's boring. All is just ammo's foes, and a trip to the shop guy. Still, we're going to get there in time, and then I'll explain to everybody what's next in the next step. But for now, we're just going to run through the forest as quickly as we can, and get to the uh, train yard. Uh, consider this a marathon run, that you run so fast you want to get that saw launcher uh, level 2, which is very good. And look like there's a prisoner I'm going to save on my way there. There we go, another one just got blew up. And the prisoner got free. So now we are have arrived at the uh, train yard. So now we gotta do is, is uh, take uh, Grace's uh, stolen weapon. That's our uh, first objective. And yeah, I just cleared it out about a few hours ago. And that was fun though. <laughs> I might as well use these rockets up and make it more uh, interesting at this point. And look at that. Ooh. Fortunately, that's damaged meat and damaged skin. Anytime you use a rocket launcher on ammo, well, guess what? You're going to lose the uh, real uh, meat and bones of it. I should say meat and skin. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed uh, 3 if you use a weapon other than a hidden blade or a bow. All right, there's the switch. going to bust it open. Now we're going to take Grace's uh, weapon. And the foe just detected us, I think. Or not. Well, okay, that one just detected us. And that one went down one shot, so let's go get that uh, saw launcher. Alright, I better clear everything out before uh, going inside. Or at least attempt to clear everything out. Alright, let's go grab this. Now, the saw launcher level 2, you cannot get the challenge for it until you uh, complete uh, Grace's uh, mission and get her recruited as a specialist. Once you do those two, then you'll be able to do it. For now, this is just a... Uh, 
uh, practice for it. Yeah, you might as well practice the uh, level 2 version. And now we have to secure the uh, train yard, which is going to be fun. With the one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Yes, the saw launcher. It is seriously OP'd. You can still through uh, outposts and get away with it, basically. It's kind of like a sniper rifle, but without the uh, sounds. Unless you get one of those uh, silencer silen uh, sniper rifles later on. Still, it's pretty awesome. And they're uh, fun to kill, though, because most enemies will die in one shot. This is a level 2 one, so level 2 enemies will most likely die in one shot. 3 and 4 might take a few hits, but still, this is all awesome. So now I'm just going to search around some more, make sure everything's there. Alright. Everything nice and fine. I'm going to look around some more and check everything out. Alright, it says secure the train yard. That just means uh, more foes are in the uh, vicinity. Which is not good at all. Yep, I kind of knew it. Now this is a uh, clear out uh, part of the mission. There's more to do, trust me. There's seriously more to do. And look like one of them just got saw launched. <laughs> this is kind of fun though. I mean, you're trying out a new uh, prototype and you're shooting foes. And yes, if you go for the legs on the shielded foes, they will go down one hit. I mean, seriously, one hit. It looked like that one just got stealth. Another one went down, and there's one right there. I'm going to attempt to aim for the shield. Okay, well, he just went down anyways, so that's good. And if you uh, do hit their shield, the second or third hit, uh, they'll lose it. Try and aim for the legs. Yep, yeah, see? We're going to aim for the legs, and they will go down. And this is also a great opportunity to get the uh, uh, good one cap trophy slash achievement if you can. Uh, but still, I'm just having too much fun with the saw launcher. So yeah, I'm just having seriously a lot of fun with it. So now we have uh, cleared the area. We need to retrieve stolen materials. Yeah, so I'll try to do is uh, put timestamps on so people could uh, benefit from that. Well, it looked like that dummy over there was trying to attack us. He didn't do a good job at all. And there's a helicopter. Oh boy. Yeah, you might as well stay down a bit if you can since helicopters will detect you and uh, shoot you up. Yes, look like the highwaymen have access to a helicopter in post-apocalyptic uh, Hope County. That's not a good sign. Alright, you go over here, climb up. It's going to be a lot of climbing, a lot of jumping. And it's right there. Let me see if it's there. Here's the thing. I kind of cleared this out before I did the mission since I was on a supply run. Alright, there it is right there. It's right there definitely where the flowing cart is with the chain. So we grab there and now jump carefully and yep, yeah, make sure you grab it and you got it. You should be able to get it right there. It's stolen materials in the shape of uh, titanium bars. So remember that folks. I do mean seriously remember that. So now we got two supplies to go and we're attempt to go uh, find the other two. Now you won't be able to actually get it detected unless you uh, see it close by. Once you uh, See it uh, close by, what happens is it'll be uh, detected definitely. Yeah, I'll try and get some extra uh, saw launcher uh, ammunition. Yeah, that was an epic fail. Still, now you go up here. Let me check if there's anything else on the other side. Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can get higher up. I think that over there is the spot where we want to uh, go for the second one. Still, let me check down here first. Just in case it's uh, down here. Nope, not at all. And let's look around some more and look like over there is nothing. Alright, yeah, let's see if I can use that as a height advantage. I alright, okay, I was wrong. Let's see if I can try to jump over there. Nope. I need to do something uh, crafty in order to get up there. So let's look around some more, see if there's a grappling point so I can get up there. And that'll be where the second one is. I think that over here is the uh, best spot for the uh, grappling point. I was right. It was the grappling point, and there it is right there. We're going to climb up slowly, easily. There we go. Yeah, it's going to take a little time. Sometimes the game doesn't want you to climb up there at all. So there there we go. Yes. So now we're going to jump down. You need to time the detachment. Yeah, there we go. And if you uh, get this again, then you have to start the whole process, which is boring, though. So <laughs> we have to figure out how to do this better. So you need to do is go back up there again and time your uh, detachment of the grappling hook. It might take people a few tries, so remember that. 
Yeah, I think it took me one or two tries uh, before I uh, scout this area out in order to get a detachment from there. Now you hit the detachment button, that's what I'm going to call it. Since I'm not going to say on the other systems, but still, detach yourself, there we go. It's right there in the cage area, and we're going to climb up here, and there's a hole to get down. And now what we're going to do next is uh, loot up the chest right there and take the uh, titanium. I should say safe, but still. Take the titanium, that is number two. Now we're on the third and uh, final one. So I believe it's up there somewhere. Let's make sure of it. All right, we're going to climb up here and uh, jump up here or over here. There we go. I think I'm supposed to jump somewhere. And let me check if it's over here. Nope, nothing there. And there's a note you should have read earlier saying they moved the uh, product from the lower carts to the upper carts because of animals. Well, we've been doing that already. i kind of been doing that already due to the fact I uh, already uh, did this area before and I uh, got everything. Yes, folks, you should always want to do these areas a lot, sometimes ahead of time. Since sometimes you might get a mission, then you'll uh, scout out and know where to do and what to get. So now we're going to try to search for the uh, third one and make sure we uh, do find it. Let's keep on checking over here. I'm still looking around to see if anything else is there. Alright, there's a dead body. That's the lower floor. Most likely will not be there at all. And it says we're inside the uh, search zone. We're uh, still in the correct position. Still, we're going to search over here. If I do spot it, I'll uh, point it out so everybody will uh, benefit once again. Alright, there's a ladder right there. Oh, right there. There's a switch. Open the switch up. Give it a few moments. It might be in this one. And there it is right there. Your third and final materials. Now we need to do is return to Grace and she'll be right over there. Now, a word of warning, uh, enemies will sometimes appear around the area and uh, interrupt Grace, so let's talk to her. You did some good work out there. So, as I was saying, you keep the gun. Like I said, my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Figure you'll get more use out of it than I will. And those supplies you collected, that stuff belonged to the people. Invest it back into the community. The folks in prosperity will make the best use out of whatever you can give them, me included. You heard right. I'm headed to prosperity for good. You and your friends ever need training, you come see me. Take care of yourself. Now, after this mission is complete, you should get a graceful return trophy uh, or a graceful return achievement. Or if you're on the PC, a graceful return uh, you play achievement. You also will get her as your uh, specialist, so that's number three right there on the list, as you see. And now you have access to the Saw Launcher Level 2 and future Saw Launcher upgrades. That's even better. That's the best part of the uh, mission right there, Saw Launcher uh, upgrades you'll get in the future. Well, that's it for uh, today's uh, Trophy Slash Achievement Slash Specialist Guide. In our next video, we're going to get Nick. This is Lorefent signing out. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and cause some trouble.